Hello everyone, my name is Minnie Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about meaning of demand, determinants of demand, law of demand and types of demand. So let's start it. So what is demand? Demand is amount of goods and services that consumers are willing and able to buy at a given price and time. Demand is amount of goods and services that consumers are willing and able to buy at a given price and time. Able to buy means they have money to buy these goods and services. So we can say that demand is amount of goods and services that consumers are willing plus they also have money to buy these goods and services at a given price and time. For example, on 1st March, price of this mobile is 18,000. I am willing to buy this mobile plus I also have money to buy this mobile. So it will be called my demand. Now we will see determinants of demand. Determinants of demand means factors which affect our demand. First factor which affect our demand is price. If price of product is high, our demand will less. If price of product is less, our demand will high. Income, our demand also influenced by our income. If our income is high, our demand will high. If our income is less, our demand will less. Next is price of substitute goods. Substitute goods are those goods which we can replace with each other. Substitute goods are those goods which we can replace with each other. For example, we can replace coffee with tea. We can replace Coke with Pepsi. If price of uh, coffee will increase, we will reduce the demand of coffee and will increase the demand of tea. Similar, if price of Pepsi will increase, we reduce the demand of Pepsi and will increase the demand of Coke. Next is price of complementary goods. Complementary goods are those goods which we can use together. Complementary goods are those goods which we can use together. For example, keyboard and computer, we use together keyboard and computer. Same tennis ball and rackets, bread and butter, pen and ink. If price of computer will increase, it will affect demand of keyboard. Similar, if price of tennis ball will increase, it will affect demand of rackets. Same in the case of bread and butter and pen and ink. Next factor which affect our demand is nature of product. If commodity is necessary in nature, we can't avoid it, then we continuous buy it irrespective to change in price. For example, demand for medicine. We will buy medicine no matter what is price of medicine. Next is consumer expectation. Our demand also influenced by our expectation. If we expect in future product price is going to rise, then currently we will buy more quantities of goods and services. For example, you expect in coming day gold price is going to rise. Then currently you will do more demand for gold. Last is taste and preferences. Our demand also influenced by our taste and preferences. And our taste and preferences depend on our lifestyle, culture, hobbies and age. Now we will see law of demand. According to law of demand, all other factors that affect demand will remain constant. Demand is only affected by price. When price increase, demand will fall. When price fall, demand will increase. According to law of demand, all other factors that affect demand will remain constant. Demand is only affected by price. If price increase, demand will fall. If price fall, demand will increase. Assumption of law of demand are demand is only affected by price, no change in income, no change in taste and preferences, no change in price of substitutes and complementary goods because demand is only affected by price. If price increase, demand will fall. If price fall, demand will increase. Example of law of demand is I purchased LG mobile because company gave me 20% off. My income is same, my taste and preferences are same, expectation are same, even price of other mobiles are same. I only purchase this mobile because company gave me 20% off. So here you can see my demand is only influenced by price, so it will be called law of demand. In this table you can see when price is 1, demand is 5. As price increase from 1 to 5, demand fall from 5 to 1 means demand is only influenced by price. In diagram you can see same things so on x axis we have demand on y axis we have price. When price is 5, demand is 1. 
as price increase from 1 to 5 demand fall from 5 to 1 and this dd is our demand curve now we will see types of demand first type is price demand price demand shows relationship between only price and demand price demand shows relationship between only price and demand and income demand shows relationship between only income and demand next is cross demand cross demand shows relationship between demand of given commodity and price of related goods cross demand shows relationship between demand of given commodity and price of related goods and price of related goods include price of substitutes goods and price of complementary goods as we earlier discussed substitution goods are those goods which we can replace each other for example coffee and tea and complementary goods used together for example computer and keyboard and cross demand shows relationship between demand of given commodity and price of related goods for example lg mumbai samsung mobile and sim substitute of lg mobile is samsung mobile and complementary of lg mobile is sim so cross demand basically shows how demand of lg mobile is influenced by price of samsung mobile and price of sim next is joint demand in order to satisfy your particular wants if you demand two or more product together it will be called joint demand in order to satisfy your particular wants if you demand two or more product together it will be called joint demand for example you want to drink coffee for this you will demand so many things together like milk coffee beans sugar it will be called joint demand next is composite demand composite demand means when we use commodity for more than one purpose it will be called composite demand when we use commodity for more than one purpose it will be called composite demand for example you demand water so that you can fulfill your so many purpose like bathing drinking and cooking it will be called composite demand next is derived demand when demand of one commodity depend on demand of other commodity it will be called derived demand when demand of one commodity will depend on demand of other commodity it will be called derived demand for example demand for labor for producing bag will depend on demand of bag in market means how much labor you will hire for producing bag it's all depend on how many people are buying your bags in market next is direct demand when any commodity directly satisfy our wants it will be called direct demand when any commodity directly satisfy our wants it will be called direct demand for example books stationery clothes mobile are directly satisfy our demand means we are not buying all this product for producing anything we will directly use this next is competitive demand when two goods are close substitutes or we can say that when two goods are almost same then increase in demand of one goods will leads to decrease in demand of other goods when two goods are almost same then increase in demand of one goods will leads to decrease in demand of other goods for example pepsi and coke are almost same if price of pepsi will increase then obviously demand for pepsi will fall but demand for coke will increase so here we see when goods are close substitute then increase in demand of one goods will leads to decrease in demand of other goods so it will be called competitive demand so this is all about demand analysis i think you got it thank you so much for watching this video bye take care